Once you have your Exchange 2007 server up and running, you can begin to transition over mailboxes and public folders. The ultimate goal will be to eventually transition everything over to your 2007 servers and eliminate the Exchange 2000 or 2003 Exchange servers if that's possible. In the meantime, you are operating in a state of coexistence. Notice how some mailboxes say Legacy Mailbox and others say User Mailbox. Legacy mailboxes are those still residing on an Exchange 2000 or 2003 server. So to move mailboxes, you can use the Exchange Management shell with the Move Mailbox commandlet, but the wizard works just fine too. Let's look at using the wizard from the Exchange Management console. Here you can see we're in the Recipient Configuration Work Center and we're looking at the mailboxes within our organization. If we select a user, then we can use the Move Mailbox link from the Actions pane or simply right click and choose Move Mailbox. This will start the wizard. Now we're only attempting to move one user at this time. However, if you wanted to, you could have selected multiple users for the transition. The Move Mailbox wizard will work just fine with multiple selections. On the introduction screen, you need to choose the server, storage group, and mailbox database you plan on moving the mailbox to. On the Move Options screen, you specify how you want to manage corrupted messages. You can skip the mailbox or skip the corrupted messages. On the Move Schedule, you can perform the move immediately or you can set a schedule to move the mailboxes when your users are not in the office. Confirm your options and click Move. Once it completes, you click Finish and you can see that now the user has moved from Legacy Mailbox to User Mailbox. Once your mailboxes and public folders are moved over, you can eliminate your Exchange 2000 or 2003 servers from the mix and then you'll be running a pure Exchange 2007 environment.